Okay, it's been snowing all day and it still is, but uh, I got to get this uh, driveway plowed. I'll have to do it again later, but uh, let's get this. What's underneath this layer of snow is the old 1955 Ferguson 35. And this was set up as a plow tractor only. It had the front blade on it when I got it. And I've obviously used it for many other things. If you've seen some of my other videos, and then I bought the back dragging one. Not so much to do snow. I was gonna grade the yard at some point. And then I tried it on snow and I thought, well, this is just a perfect setup for snow, at least for a small driveway. And I'll show you why. something here you'll see this uh, steel bar going down from the trailer hitch the tongue there up to the upper link I have a situation where I have a bypass valve for the loader and right now it's on three-point hitch means this rod is pulled out you can see the gap between that c-clip and uh, the body of the valve so that allows me to work the three-point hitch, which is down right now. When I run this to the top, I'm going to raise the hitch, okay, all the way up, and up it goes. So now this bar can just slide to the side, just sort of hang out by itself. It's just sitting on a, a threaded rod there, and it's loose on purpose so that it can be adjusted, because my problem is, as long as I'm running the three-point hitch up and down, no worries. But as soon as I want to switch it to the loader, I need to drop the pressure off of the hydraulic pump here before it runs in here. If I leave it under pressure, this hydraulic pump is pushing, I think, 2,800 PSI, um, thereabouts. It's not only is it hard to switch, but something happens there and I lose all pressure almost all pressure to the loader controls up here so what I need to do is idle it down and drop the pressure right off down here and but the problem is if I'm on three-point hitch and I drop it it's going to drop the blade right to the ground and I can't have that so what I've been doing is just sort of reaching behind me throwing this bar up in there and then dropping it so it sits on that bar rather than the ground. Now I can drop it all the way down. I can pop it over. And then I can bring the pressure back up again. Full pressure for the loader. And let's see if it works. And it does. It's just on idle, so it's kind of slow. As soon as I rev up the tractor, it'll go up and down faster. So I have to do that every time I switch from back blade to loader. Keep that in mind. Okay, first things first, uh, let's drag out these empty parking spaces here. Ooh, might not have enough room over here. Let's try.
just doing back dragging one direction here and then dumping it out far enough that the tractor will fit behind the pile.
yeah, I got to come up with a better, <laughs> a better prop. I want to make like a fork, like a pickle fork or something that fits around that. But instead, I just put a washer on the net and like it's jammed itself in there. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a better system than that next time. Maybe like a pickle fork that just comes up and grabs this piece of metal here. That is definitely the way to plow snow. <laughs> you have a blade on the front and the back and you don't have to turn the tractor around. Bring it, snow. I'm ready. Oh, I still have to shovel the porch. I haven't figured out how to use the tractor for that yet. Hey, the only problem with this system is you look like you got a farmer's lane out there. It's so messy. It's just, it's not nice and clean like a snowblower would do or a small blade on a small tractor, but I figured I'd go big or go home. Well, I went big at home. It's gonna work out quite nicely. Just have to work out a couple of bugs. If you can, if you hydraulics guys out there can explain to me how I can um, use the front and rear hydraulics separately without that switch, that would be great. That hydraulic switch is kind of hosing me. Um, if, if I leave it, if I leave the back blade up when I switch it over, it, you know, the, the pressure knob over there has to be at the top. Then the loader won't work and it's leaking, starts leaking hydraulic fluid around the base of that. So I think the O-rings are a situation, but I did, I did replace the O-rings in this valve, in this, this valve thing here. And it worked great, but then the next time I tried switching it at high pressure again, it failed. So this is going to have to be my temporary system to get around that. So I could have definitely turned this blade, you know, on an angle when I was going out the driveway. But, I, and you know, guide all the snow off the edge. But I've discovered that I really don't need to. I could just drag the whole works out to the road in one shot, a couple of shots, maybe three shots straight. They don't have to be getting off the tractor and mucking with it. It is not fun getting on and off this tra tractor when I got this on the back because I can't get through here. I just, I just don't want to cut this fender. I don't want to cut it. But if I did, I could get my leg up in there and I can get on the tractor better, right? But yeah, I don't want to. It's just this loader is too far back. It's all welded in place, so I'm not adjusting it. All right. That's it for now, eh? So, oh, Ontario, cheers, eh? Holy snow.